Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do this really cool sky transition. If you want to learn how to do this in Premiere Pro, then you can check out Kyla Holland's channel and uh, he shows you how to do the exact same effect uh, but in Premiere Pro. I'll leave the link for his channel in the description if you want to check that out. So what you're going to need to make this effect work really well is uh, a couple of shots with a nice sky. So I've got two drone shots and then I've also got a time lapse of some clouds just to kind of add to the effect. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this shot because I'm going to transition from that shot to that shot. So I'm just going to turn this into a compound clip, hit OK and then I'm going to go into my compound clip and I'm just going to turn the scale of these down to 40% the bottom shot I'm going to move down and then I'm going to turn the top one 180 degrees I'm actually going to change the scale to 50% on these and what you want to do is just put those together and then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my clouds and I'm going to copy those into my compound clip and I'm just going to scale those down. I just want the clouds so what I'm going to do is add a Kia effect and then I'm going to add a mask to the clouds just to get rid of these sharp lines I'm just going to add a shape mask just like that and I'm gonna fade them out into the to the edge of the sky there now you want to go back onto your timeline and we're gonna add the first bit of movement to the shot so what we're gonna do is scale this back up so that it fits the screen and then you want to hit the transform button and go down right down to the where the shot the bottom of the shot is just hit the keyframe button and we're just going to add the movement I'm going to let the shot go a little bit and then because I haven't moved it I need to add another keyframe just so it doesn't start moving from the start because I want it to start moving from there and now we're going to move it all the way down to the second shot and now if we play that back that's the first transition done now when we move back down we want this shot to show up so what we're going to do is copy copy this shot go into our compound clip and just paste that right there I'm going to put that underneath the clouds and we're going to change the scale to 50 like the other ones and then you want to move that over your second shot so what I'm going to do to cover up this line is I'm going to copy this bottom shot here copy and I'm just going to paste that oh. I'm going to paste that onto the top of my timeline and then what I'm going to do is add a mask and I'm just going to cut out the top bit of the sky so then we can overlay that to the next clip so it fades in nicely and let's just I'm just going to do this with a mask okay so let's go back to our timeline we don't need these anymore and now if you bring up your keyframes that's where we get to the top gonna hit the transform button again and move along the timeline and just move our compound clip back up and then you should see the uh, the second shot so we're gonna put that there okay so now 
this is what we should have. So it goes up and back down. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. But um, as it starts to go up, it kind of jolts. And then when it comes back down, it kind of just stops abruptly. So to get that even smoother, what you want to do is go to your keyframes here, click on your keyframes, then it actually comes up with these curve editors here. And to get a nice smooth start of the pan, what you want to do is make these really small and just put them sideways like that. So if it's going down, then I'll just put it to the side. But that's going to give you a really smooth um, start of your motion. Okay, so that's the transition done. Now I'm just going to add my color correction. Added my color correction and my letterbox effects. So let's see what that looks like. So yeah, there you go. That's how you uh, do this epic sky transition effect. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.